welcome to TMT Toy Throwback. That's a mouthful. It's the first time I've been waiting on this. I've been planning this. I've been working on this. I've been deleting this, re-recording this over and over and over again. Basically what it is, I'm going to have a look at many different incarnations of the four turtles. That's right. Just the four turtles, no shredders, no April Neals, but we're going to go all across the board. Some from there, some from there. 2002, 1988, 2012, and everything in between. Well, everything I got. And as you can tell, there's a little bit to choose from. So, we're going to start it off with the first episode, which is going to be the beginning, the start. No, not the comics. I know it started at the comics, but... Let's be honest here, what was the first thing that most, most of us saw regarding TMNT? That's right, the cartoon shows, so let's go! Starting it off with these four anthropomorphic gentlemen named after Renaissance painters, we have the original, the four turtles, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo and Raphael from the 1987 TV series came the toys in 1988 of the four turtles. Now the first thing that you will note is that they look nothing like they did in the original show. First of all we all have the color variation of a different shade of green, each one of them rocking to differentiate themselves which is pretty nice, but for the rest of it they look a lot more like their comic counterpart, down to the white eyes and the gritting teeth with a, a little bit more of a darker look as you would expect from the very humorous, light, kids cartoon show. Each individual turtle came with their own weapon and a weapon sheet with ninja stars and a bunch of other weapons that, quite frankly, we as kids didn't really care for. And even now, you know, you got katanas on Leo and you don't really need much more for that, right? Not only that, but each and every turtle came with their own belt design, so you can store your weapon Leo and Donnie have straps that go over the shoulder and even a little emblem for their name which was very reminiscent of the cartoon show that's one thing they got right they all clock in at basically the same size of a little over 10 inches which basically means they were all 10 to 12 centimeters tall but as far as posing goes you also have the dreaded angled foot on all of them except for Raph he has a flat feet, so no problem opposing this guy. And speaking of posing, it's very basic, but actually not that bad, I think, for kids toy. You have your swivels in the head, shoulder, forearm, and ball joints on the feet for your ninja action poses. Yeah. But quite frankly, I don't think anybody thought about posing back then. They thought about making kids toys and make money and have this thing go on forever. Well, Maybe not forever, but for now, we all know it has gone on for a long time. And on that note, let's move over to the year 2003 and have a look at these guys. 2003 was the year that TMNT came back out of the shadows with a show that was a lot closer to the comic this time around. And the figures were a lot closer to the show counterpart also, with, you know, they didn't quite get the color for Donnie right, he was never that brownish green. Raph and Mikey though, pretty spot on. And of course, Leo always looks good, right? Right. Now the 2003 toy line might be the most impressive one yet. Because you had all the staples you had in the old ones with the belts and the weapons, but actually this time, the first time around, and so far the only time that the series had actually fully painted weapons with the handle and the grey. Even though in the show the handles had the same colors as their bandanas, but it was appreciated nonetheless. And they of course all still come with a removable belt, they also stuck to that. And you have your small little holsters for Raph size, Leo swords, Nike, Mikey's nunchucks and Donatello's bow staff. One more thing about the belt though, while in the show it was, it was a lighter brown they went with straight black in this one. and. You know, I guess it looks good. Also, size-wise, these guys did a huge leap going from 4 inches to almost 5. So we're still moving around in the 12 centimeters category. 
They also made a huge leap as far as articulation goes. While the head is still on swivel, we have a hinge in the shoulder, swivel up in the elbow, swivel in the hand, and the legs now also come with hinges which rotate around, which wasn't really the best idea because it always goes around in an angle and is not the greatest. Now this time around, the only one with an angled foot was Donnie. Everybody else had flat feet. Poor guy. And an important detail, I almost forgot, the paint job. Not only were the weapons painted, there was also shading going around a little bit in the arms. It wasn't the cleanest, but once again for a kid's toy, it was damn impressive. So impressive so that really the 2003 series made a huge splash and still ran up to the year 2009 where once again the turtles vanished into the night never to be seen again. Or did they? Nope, they didn't vanish anywhere. They made their huge comeback in 2012 with a new show, now with a new art style and a new design, new voices, new everything. And as of right now in 2017 the show is still running in their, seven, in their fifth season. Now, design-wise, these guys can be easily summed up as a mix between the 1980s cartoon show, the 2003 cartoon show, even like some next mutation of the bandages around their feet and hands. And you even might say they draw inspiration from, few, from previous action figures, because again, they have all the different colors. As far as the figures go, Playmates was really up to their old stuff, because gone are the painted weapons. And also these guys don't really look like they do in the show, because the show is a lot more rectangular, while each and every character is very rounded, and I guess a little less more refined in their head sculpts and whatnot. And the most important part, the fur toe looks nothing like that. This looks a little bit more realistic, a little bit more reminiscent of the old toys, but uh -uh, that's not how it looks in the show. Funny enough, they all come in different sizes also this time around. With Mikey only going slightly over 4 inches, which means 10 centimeters, which means he's a lot more in scale with the old turtles. And Donnie, the tunnels of them, going up to almost 5 inches, which is 12 centimeters, which means he's a lot more in scale with the 2003 turtles. A lot has changed in the articulation department because for the first time we actually have ball joints for the heads, which is very appreciated. Still have the hinge, rotating, combination and the shoulder. Now the same thing in the elbow, rotating round and hinging. We're retaining the rotating hinge combination in the legs, but this time it was put in straight, so it goes down straight, so it's a lot better. And for the first time, actually articulated knees with a single hinge. Nice. These guys definitely made a splash, bringing back turtle power in a big way, in a big new series, with a lot of changes here and there and really showed us how much we and the turtles have grown 1988 2003 and then 2012 every time the turtles made a comeback and every time we got more figures and more lines and more series and guess what we're gonna have a look at a lot of them I can't promise you all, because I don't owe them all, but rest assured that this is not the only episode of TMNT Toy Throwback. There's many more to cover, there's many more I want to cover, and as I said in the beginning, there will be themes, we have the cartoon show, there might be, I don't know, movies, comics, and stuff made in Japan, the turtles have been to a lot of wonky places over the years, and we will visit most of them. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode of TMNT Toy Throwback. I'll be back next time with more. Turtle power!